Hello everyone, this is me Debashis for Rep Sports and as expected the Indian team for the remaining three test matches are announced. Not much of a surprise, we all knew that Virat Kohli will be having a break, will be having an extended break and with me to talk more about the selection, I have none other than the editor-in-chief of Rep Sports, Boriada. What do you make out of the team? It's not much as expected, Jasprit Bumrah and Ravindra Jadeja as well as KL Rahul are all back in the side. Yeah, and you know, this clearly shows that test match cricket is priority. That is why Jasprit Bumrah and there was a 10 day gap between the two tests. So if you needed a break, you've got your break. It's not as if it was three days that you had to turn around and play. So yes, there was a question in the media that should Bumrah be rested? But why should he be rested if there is a 10 day break? And who is your best bowler? Bumrah. If he has to win you a test series, it is this one and the one in Australia. These are big series against England. So you have to play Bumrah. The other thing is there was also a concern about Shreya Shair. So that is something that you know all of us were talking about. KL Rahul and Ravindra Jadeja subject to fitness. Hopefully both of them will be fit and raring to go. Virat Kohli, as the board has also said, clearly it's a personal issue. We will respect that and not get into speculation. Absolutely. It, it was also a heartening to, it's good news that both Jadeja and KL Rahul are back in the set. But there's a star next to their names, yeah. which means subject to their fitness. So it, it, it clearly shows that Means, means obviously Jadeja still has a concern whether he's full, fully fit or not after the hamstring injury. What do you make out of their inclusion in the side? See, clearly with no Shreya Shair there, you had to get KL Rahul back because you have to have some experience in that lineup except Rohit Sharma. If you read Rohit, Bumrah, Jaiswal, Gil, Rahul, Patidar, Sarfaraz Khan, Dhruv, Jurel. So that, that, that's your batting, Absolutely. right? So clearly except Rohit Sharma, there's nobody other than KL Rahul with any kind of experience. So Shreya Shair is the only notable omission because of the injury scare that all of us broke day before yesterday. So more important is KL Rahul coming back. He has to play in that higher position. Otherwise, you're talking about Rajat Patidar and Sarfaraz Khan along with a Jaiswal who is what? Three, four, five yes. tests old. So you're talking about a batting lineup which is hugely inexperienced. That's why the importance of KL Rahul in this side is that much more important in the absence and, of... And Shashir. do you reckon that uh, Rajat Patidar might be getting another opportunity? Has to. Obviously, that, uh, now that Shreya Shahir is out, KL Rahul automatically walks into the side. So, another opportunity? Yeah, I mean, you've just given him one, one go. And, and that too, in the first innings, he got a 30, looked reasonable, that under edge and, and out. It wasn't as if that, you know, he played badly. He looked resolute. So there is no question that you will drop a player after one opportunity. You give him at least two, three goals. Rajkot is a good, decent batting wicket. So you give him a go in a, in a good track. Whether or not Sarfaraz Khan will play, only if KL Rahul continues to be injured. I don't want that to happen because you want some experience. So maybe, you know, you also want Sarfaraz to play. But Sarfaraz will have to wait a little bit. <clears throat> Interestingly, Ravindra Jadeja also in the squad. So that tells you that he's almost there. Otherwise, they right. wouldn't have picked him. Yeah, absolutely. So because of the fact that both have been included, that, you know, the injuries aren't serious. Hmm. So that is heartening news. Mohammad Siraj also makes a comeback. Absolutely. That's critical. So if you have to give Bumrah a break for the... Because this is three tests. You're not only talking the third test. You're talking right. three, four, five. Right. So if India wins this one, then in Dharamshala, which might just favor movement, movement and all of that, yeah. you might think, okay, 2-1 ahead, should Bumrah get a rest? You might think of that. So the inclusion of Siraj is important. Obviously, with Siraj walking now coming in, that, that means that Mukesh Kumar might not get, get a chance in the uh, third it's, test match. It's only fair. Yes. And an Akash Deep makes it. So for Bengal, yes. it's a big, big thing as well. Mm -hmm. That Mukesh Kumar and Akash Deep. When has it happened? Mm -hmm. Mohammad Shami and Mukesh Kumar. Yes. So these were the two guys together. Yes. But now Mukesh Kumar and Akash Deep, right. that tells you uh, two, two bowlers from Bengal. But yes, I don't think from what we've seen of Mukesh in Vizag that he will play ahead of Siraj and it's only fair that at this point Siraj is a better bowler, will have impact and and with if there is reverse, Siraj will come into play with the older ball. Good side, one expects Bumrah to again do that job 
Ravi Chandra and Ashwin on 499 ah, is another yes. interesting. <laughs> obviously, what is that? Before we end this, wrap up this uh, sh- discussion, obviously another big debate will be whether KS Bharat keeps his place in that wicket keeping slot. A lot of the uh, p- p- newsprint have been vested on KS Bharat not clicking, not getting amongst runs. Obviously, he did score at 41 in that first test match in the second innings in Hyderabad. Obviously, India did not end up winning that test match. So, do you reckon that KS Bharat might be getting another opportunity? One more go. Because the last two innings, they were stupid shots. If you actually see long hops getting out there and even in the second inning. So it wasn't as if he was beaten or anything. He threw his wicket away. I think he too will realize that he's getting opportunities and he has to make the most of it. His keeping was decent. Mm. His keeping was decent. So that box has been ticked. They will give him one more go. Should because, you know, Rajkot, again, a good batting track with at least a few words that you can't keep throwing your wicket away. Then Dhruv Jurel is waiting. But again, this shows that they are investing in Jurel as a backup for Bharat. So not Ishan, not Samson, not Upendra Yadav. It is Bharat and Jurel. That is a clear indication now where Dravid and Rohit are going. Okay, that's that's it for now. Obviously, keep watching this space to get all the updates from the field of sports throughout the day and this is me Debasis with Rory Ada signing out for Rep Sports until then see you